Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at practical applications of capacitors. So let's get started. So the first practical application or use of capacitors that we'll look at is the camera flash. So it says here that a camera flash requires a rapid release of energy in the form of light. This cannot be achieved from a battery alone. However, a battery can be used to charge a capacitor. This capacitor can then provide a very high current for a short time, which causes a brief flash, so a camera flash is a good application of capacitors. Next we have a medical use, which is a defibrillator. So it says here that defibrillators, just like camera flashes, require a rapid release of energy, this time to shock a patient's heart to restart it. Again, a battery can be used to charge a capacitor. When the paddles are applied to the skin, the discharging circuit is complete and a very high current can flow for a short time. Next we have something called a blocking capacitor and it says that a capacitor will stop the flow of a steady DC current. This is used in the AC-DC switch of an oscilloscope. In the AC position, a series capacitor is present in the circuit allowing passage of AC components of the signal but blocking any steady DC signals. So to summarise, a capacitor can be used to block DC signals and let AC signals pass through. So not only is this useful in things like oscilloscopes, but it could also be useful for any device that requires the filtering of signals such as speakers and subwoofers and so on. Next we have something called smoothing. And it says here that the capacitor in this simple rectifier circuit shown here is storing charge during the half cycle that the diode conducts. This charge is given up during the half cycle that the diode does not conduct. This helps to smooth out the waveform. So we can actually get a capacitor to smooth signals for us. So it says here that full wave rectification involves a number of capacitors being used to smooth a rectified DC signal. This is how DC, i.e. direct current, is produced from the mains AC alternating current voltage in the power packs used in the lab. So if you've ever used a power supply or a power pack in your physics classroom, then it's likely that you've used this property of smoothing and using smooth signals without you realising it. So another way to think about that is that you plug your power pack or power supply into the mains, so you're using alternating current from the mains. So in order to produce a DC signal, you need to somehow smooth out that AC waveform in order to get a straight line or something like a straight line for the DC signal. Signal. Because remember, a DC signal on an oscilloscope trace is a straight line for the output voltage, whereas for the output voltage for an AC signal, it's a wave-like pattern. Our last application is touchscreens, and this is one that I'm sure everyone has benefited from that is watching this video. It says here that a capacitive touchscreen uses the small conductivity of the human finger. The screen has two transparent conductive layers shown here, separated by tiny spacer dots. This forms a capacitor, a capacitive layer, which stores a tiny charge. When the finger touches the screen, as shown here, the overall charge at that point is reduced, and sensors then detect this change. It's worth noting that some touchscreens can detect several points of contact using a grid system, and you'll probably know this yourselves from trying, but gloves cannot be worn using capacitive touchscreens since gloves are insulators. So the skin on your finger is a conductor, and that's how you can use mobile phones and tablets which have touchscreens and so on, but if you block your skin with something like gloves, then you won't be able to use the touchscreen device due to the gloves being insulators. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.